Thank you for the beautiful song, Shalom Choir. Today is promotional Sunday for our English ministry. And I want to talk about the most important promotion in our history. The wedding at Cana is unique only to the John's Gospel and is the first miracle of Jesus. This is a quiet, private miracle. It is not some flashy show of divine power like some of other miracles Jesus performed. Only a few people, including the reader, know what actually happened. Actually, Jesus was even reluctant to do anything at the event. It was not meant to happen. But the persistence of his mother, Mary, led him to perform what has become one of the most famous, yet mysterious, of his miracles. As we read, the story is that the hosts ran out of wine. The wedding celebration would have ended if there was nothing to drink. Mary mentions this to her son, and Jesus replies with a sentence that has puzzled scholars for years. He says, woman, is Jesus being rude? Is Jesus being arrogant? However, his mother, it always says his mother in the Gospel of John, never Mary. His mother doesn't seem perturbed by it and tells the servants to do whatever he tells them. Referring his mother as woman in Hebrew, without the endearment as dear so-so, rather has meaning of being called ma'am, short for madam, a way of disengaging two parties. As his mother, she might think that she has some parental authority over him. However, as her sovereign God, she has no authority over Jesus at all. Mary is really saying, Jesus, they're out of wine. We really need to do something about it. To which Jesus responds, ma'am, what do you mean we? Jesus simply reminds her of the change in their roles and relationships. He's no longer her little boy, obliged to do whatever she asks. Remember, he obeyed her when he was 12 years old at the temple. He went back to his parents' house out of obedience. He's the Messiah who must obey his true father. He's thus sensitive to the timing of his debut. Jesus informs his mother Mary that it is not yet his time. Jesus refers here to his time as the time of his public debut as the promised Messiah, not necessarily the crucifixion. The point of my message is that whether Mary, the mother of Jesus, realized it or not, she was marketing the Messiah. Do you know the four main principles of marketing? They are product, price, place, and promotion, simply put. 
Now let's go to product, the first main principle. What do you think the product was? It was wine at the same time, the Messiah. The chief steward made the ironic statement that the good wine had been saved until now. Now, this is a very symbolic way of saying that Jesus is better than what had come before in history. In God's own timing, the Messiah had come. When the guests were getting parched and the host nervous, and there was no recourse but to shut the party down, it is at this point that Jesus quietly intervenes. It may not have been the most convenient time for the Lord, but because of the need of the guests and the request of his mother, excellent wine had been produced. The changing of water to wine is Jesus' inaugural sign of God's presence in the world through him. The real bridegroom who served the superior wine, Jesus, has now appeared, serving into the world God's abundant goodness and grace in a definitive way. The miracle centers on wine because abundant wine is symbolic of God's presence in the world. In the eschatological age, according to the prophets Amos and Joel. By referring to Jesus' miracles as signs, John in the New Testament shifts attention away from the wine miracle itself toward the great Messiah. Now, second principle of marketing is price. The wine at the banquet was free. Only through the Messiah, Jesus, who paid the price by purchase of his blood. Next one is place. It has a double meaning, geographical location, and the channel of marketing at the same time. Cana was in Galilee, the adult home of Jesus, about six kilometers from Nazareth. It was about an hour and a half walk to Cana from Nazareth. So it wasn't that far back in those days. So as for geographical locations, it was wedding in Cana, but as for channel of marketing, it was through total trust in her heart that her son is the Messiah. The disciples believe in Jesus after the miracle, as it says in verse 11, but Mary believed in him before the event. She had faith that whatever he says will work. Mary also was desperate, seeming to be related to the host of the wedding. The wedding could have been of a sibling or close relative of Jesus, according to verse 12. It says, after this, Jesus went down to Capernaum with his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they remained there a few days. Mary was desperate because how embarrassing would it be for Mary and the host of the wedding if the beverage ran out and the wedding banquet has to end. Precisely when the miracle occurs is a mystery. It is written, 
When the steward tasted the water that had become wine. Because of this, some say that the changed wine must have been white wine instead of red. It is up to your imagination whether it was white or red. What is important is that the chief steward is said not to know where the wine came from, while the servants who obeyed knew where it came from. Total faith was a channel of marketing the Messiah. The servants were neither the bride and the groom nor the main hosts. They were working on the backstage. Today, we will recognize and install lay leaders of our EM who are working on the backstage, like these servants who witnessed the miracle with their faith. Now, last principle is promotion. It also has a double meaning. Present at the wedding are Jesus, his disciples, and the mother of Jesus. She is introduced first in the passage because of her prominent role in the story. She probably did not realize it, but her role was to promote Jesus in double sense. Number one, upgrade or promote her son into God's son. And number two, PR and advertising the Messiah through this miracle. You all remember the story of boy Jesus in the temple. What had Jesus revealed to Mary up to that point that would cause her to believe that such a miracle was possible from him? How did she know that this was the time for revelation, the event of epiphany? The mother of Jesus appears only twice in the Gospel of John, at the wedding at Cana and at the foot of the cross. It is poignant that the mother of Jesus brackets his life surrounds Jesus' earthly ministry. She's at the beginning of his career and watches him die. Today is Promotional Sunday. Our students get promoted and upgraded to a higher level. Perhaps it is the sign of water into wine in the sign of water into wine, we learn something that we need to know about ourselves. What did it take for Mary in asking Jesus to transform water into fabulous wine? Is Jesus in our English ministry in the state of water or wine? Does my Jesus within me need to be promoted from Mary's son into the powerful, lively son of God? Does my plain water within me need to be upgraded into wine that people are thirsty for? The same Jesus who turned water into wine can transform your home, your life, your workplace, your church, and your future. He is still in the miracle working business. Amen.